All right, YouTube, this is your boy, the virus system again here, and we are here to do the chiri chiri chara chara. Um, I'm having something here. Um, I find difficulties with um, the other day, and I'm able to solve it. So I thought maybe you might be finding the same difficult with code igniter. So I decided to do it. You should have to bring it to your notice. If you are facing the same problem, then you, I believe this tutorial can help you to solve that problem. Now, there's this school management system that I used to run, and that is um, advanced school management system. And um, just recently, I tried to set it up on my local server. And anytime I tried loading it up, it gives me a blank um, page, just like you can see it on screen. Currently, it's blank. I have it here. School management system. Um, this is the folder for it. I tried running this application again, and it's giving me problems. I can't even access uh, my login page. So how did I manage to solve this problem? Now, the first thing I looked at is um, what was the SQL extension that was used in um, writing this particular application. And I realized that if you come to application, let's go to configuration, and then we'll come to um, um, database. Now, the SQL engine that was used is my SQL. And I realized that the server I'm running is um, um, PHP 7. And um, we know very well that most of um, my SQL um, statements in um, PHP um, has fade out. So and once I'm using PHP 7, I had difficulties running that particular application. So that means that if I want to run this application, then I need to run a lower version of um, PHP that can run um, my SQL statements. But right now, PHP 7 runs on um, my SQLi. So because it's um, my SQL, I find it very difficult to access that program. So the first thing I did was that I added I to um, my SQL and then that changed to my SQLi. So I saved that and I went to run the application and the application ran very well, but I couldn't log into the system. I couldn't log into the system. So anytime I try logging in with the default username and password, if I hit on login, then it tries to load and at the end of the day, it brings me back to uh, the login page saying that um, nothing can be done. So the next thing I thought was this. Now this application is written in um, um, Code Igniter. So one thing I thought wise was um, the system files. Now all the, um, the information of SQL statements and other things are in the system file. So what I did was that I downloaded um, Code Igniter, um, the latest version, which I have here on my screen. Um, let's minimize all these things, then um, we can see it. Here it is. Um, which is code igniter 3.1.9 that is what I downloaded from the internet and what I did was that I extracted um, the system files of this code igniter and I replaced it with the one that I have now for safety purpose um, I renamed this system file to um, something I didn't want to read and then I moved the new system files from um, 3.1.9 into my folder now I went back and then I logged in with the default username and password. Then here I was in the system without any problem. So this is how I still solve that problem of I'm um, converting from um, my SQL to my SQLI project. So if you want to convert your my SQL project to um, SQLI, which is developing code igniter, I believe this procedure should be able to help you to overcome that challenge of running old applications which are developing them. Um, code igniter um, into uh, migrating them from my SQL to my SQLI so that you can run them with what PHP 7 so I hope this helped you and if you like my channel please stay tuned and then subscribe to my channel and then share my videos and hit the like button at the bottom and leave a comment um, for all your needs to be attended so stay tuned with the virus system for more tutorials to come on your way thank you